How's it going everybody, Bachi Pokemon here, and welcome to a bit of a different video than I would usually do. Well, with V-Star Universe coming up, I wanted to talk about the set from last year, V-Max Climax, and kind of like, rank my personal favorites of that set, starting with of course the character Secret Rares, or character Super Rares, whichever you want to call them. And I, I am, <laughs> I'm allowing myself to like switch this around as we go along. Maybe I say, oh, that card isn't an S, maybe it's just an A. But without further ado, let's go straight into the ranking. I'll be starting with the, with the easy cards for me, and then move on to the more, more tough choices, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to put everything on S, even though all of the illustrations are amazing. But we're going to start it off with the, with the Rayquaza VMAX. Of course, featuring uh, Sinia in the artwork. Uh, this is a really cool card. Rayquaza is one of my favorite Pokemon, and this is this is like top-notch quality in in terms of artwork. And this is like like easily easily an S tier for me. This is this is that's the first S tier, right? I said we're going to be going along with easy cards. Let's try to find a a easy easy D tier. It's gonna be um, both of the of the single strike Urshifus, like the single strike Urshifu V and V Max. Both of those I'm not too convinced about. I I'm not a fan of those illustrations, even though they're really well made. They just don't click for me. Unlike the the Urshifu V and V Max, or the Rapid Strike, I should see the Rapid Strike Urshifu um, illustrations. Of course, you have Mustard training with Urshifu. And like the regular V, I think that's a B for me. It's good, but it's not not that good. I do have to say. Now the V Max though, the V Max that's an easy that's that's an easy A tier for me. Like the illustration itself looks super super nice. The background kind of reminds me in a way of um, the Zera Aura V alternate art. You have like some distance to cover that you can see in the artwork. Which is really, really nice, and I really like um, cards that do that. Which is part of the reason why I like the the um, Ice Rider Kelly Rex, the V for that matter, that much. That might actually be an S tier. I might move that up later on, but for now, for now, I think I'm gonna put this at A. That's a that's an amazing illustration. As I said, the mountains in the background. You have uh, Peony also featured on the card there. And this is this is an amazing illustration. Now on the other hand, though, the Ice Rider Kelly X V Max, I'm not not that much of a fan, which is weird because the Blaziken I'm gonna rank a bit higher than this. But this one is a C tier for me. Like it's cool and all, but not um, not worthy of B or anything higher. But not worse than than that. I think this is a this is a good place for for that card. Moving in on to the. Pikachu, I do believe. Pikachu VMAX, that's that's once again, that's an easy S tier for me. You have, of course, Red featured on the card. Iconic, you have the Chunkachu. And this is, once again, such an amazing illustration. Let me just look at it. Such a cool pose and everything. And really, really amazing. Um, the Pikachu V, on the other hand. I don't know where I should put this. I, I, it's between A and B for me. I think I'm gonna put it at B. I might move it upwards. It is nice. You know, you have the you have red in the background once again. It's like looking at this map. It looks like trying to figure out the way, and then Pikachu, just maybe looking out for danger or something like that. Still a really nice illustration, but I think this is a good place. I might switch this around as I've said. Now let's move it on to a few more easy ones, I should say. Easier said than done. Um, the Morpeko V Union. I I love this artwork. I will only put it at A, and here's why. This card is split into. If you open V Max Climax, which I'm hoping to do um, this week on Wednesday, and if you open the pack, you can get this card like in in its uh, entirety. You get four cards, but that's the the main gripe, my main gripe with the card is that it is a V-Union card. So you have to put like the four single cards together to get the full artwork. Now there is a jumbo version of this card, I do believe, which is really nice. So you can see the full artwork without putting the single cards together. And from an artwork standpoint, this is top-notch. 
if this wasn't a Vunion card, if this was just like a more Peko V with that artwork, it would be an easy S tier for me. But because of that, I'm deducting one point, if you will, and I'll put it at put it at A, which is still really, really nice. Really love that illustration. Now moving it on to the Eternatus V Max. This is yeah. That's once again an easy S tier for me. I think many people are like disregarding this card, but just look at this artwork. It is illustrated by the one and only, the legend himself, Mitsuhiro Arita, which he shows once again why why he's been um, at the Pokemon company for so long. And he has produced so many amazing cards, and this is no different. Like this, this illustration is top notch, and many people are less disregarding it. Maybe because they don't like the Pokemon, maybe because they don't like Rose, but the artwork itself is it is perfect, absolutely perfect. Anywho, moving it on to the Corviknight, breaking it up with the Eternatus because I have to figure out where to put this. Uh, the Corviknight V and V Max. I'm sorry I have to say this, but they're both D tier for me. Like I am not a huge fan. The Pokemon itself is cool, don't get me wrong, but the illustrations, they don't do it for me. I, I don't know what it is, they just don't do it for me. Not a, not a huge fan of, of those two illustrations. So that's a D, D tier for me. We're almost getting to the end of the easy cards, it's getting, it's getting harder and harder to place things. Let's place the, the Zashian. Let's put the Zashian, I think for now at A. It's a really cool illustration, and I think part of the reason why some people don't like this illustration is because of the character mainly. You go top, featured on here, because you have him featured on the Zamazenta as well, which in itself I'm gonna place at B. But the the Zashian, the Zashian is the better artwork of, of those two Pokemon, both featuring Hop. But this one is just super, super cool. Where is the Zamazenta? You know, you have the action shot. It's like Hop setting or sending Zamazenta into battle, which in itself is a cool concept. But the illustration doesn't really click for me that much. It's still a B, which is still pretty good. Actually, mm, let's put it down at C. Changed my mind. I'm just comparing it at B with these two, with like the Pikachu and the... Um, Rapid Strike Urshifu V. I'm just looking at it like, yeah, no, wait, these look way better than this, so let's put this at C. Let's put that at C. I should have said this at the beginning, this is all like personal opinion. If you have a different opinion, I would love to hear it in the comments. I would love to hear what you think, what your favorite cards from, from VMAX Climax are. And, well, anyways, let's move it on. Okay, so I think I'm gonna move it on to the birds the trio, I do want to split them up, because I do believe that the illustrations are not on the same level. Like, definitely the the Zapdos is like my favorite, so I'm gonna put this at A. You have Sonya chasing behind it, kind of being like a little bit angry. Of course, have the, the Rotom phone attached to the bike there, or maybe it's a Rotom bike, who knows. But I like these, I like little details like that, as you can see in the back of the artwork. I think at B, I'm gonna place the Moltres, which is, it's a really cool illustration, like, it kind of looks like that Moltres is, like, offering, um, Gloria here, like, a revelation or something, like, an epiphany, it's like, listen to me, child. And, like, this is cool, but, like, Gloria in the background is just, like, stunned, it's like, what is, what is happening, so, that's why B. And then C for the Articuno, I'm sorry, I just, I just don't like it as much as the other three. I just don't like the Articuno that much as the other three. It is still a cool artwork, as is, as all of these are, but yeah, I think C is a good place for this. Mimikyu V. Ooh, okay. So we're moving it on to the more difficult places here. Mimikyu. I do want to say S tier, but at the same time, A tier seems fair. I think A tier seems, uh, seems fair for the Mimikyu V. If I think about it, because it fits in, if I'm just comparing it with the other cards I've placed in A, the Mimikyu V seems, seems good at A. You of course have Acerola in the background being kind of like surprised 
Maybe she woke up and it's like, why is the TV playing in the middle of the night and then it's just Mimikyu sitting in front of it? So that's, uh, that's a really cool illustration. Now on the other hand, the Mimikyu VMAX, that one is a C tier for me, I'm sorry. I mean, it's nice, it's like, it's a big Mimikyu, it's like you have Acerola kind of like hugging it. And other than that, there's just much to that card in my opinion, like... This one is way cooler than the VMAX one, so this one, I think, I think C's is fair for this card. But let's place the, the Crobat at B. Kind of like comparing it to these two. I like the Crobats, so you got, you got silver in the background. Which is a really nice illustration, kind of like sending, sending Crobat, Crobat into battle, or maybe they are already battling. A really dynamic illustration. But not, uh, not A tier worthy or S tier worthy in my opinion. The Blaziken. The Blaziken V and the Blaziken V Max. I, as I, as you know, I do love Gen 3. Generation 3 is my favorite, as well as the remakes of Generation 3, like Omega, uh, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. And of course, these, this Blaziken features May. Very predominant character from Gen 3, of course. One of the main characters besides Brandon. And... I know. I mean, this artwork, the, the Blaziken V, is like on the same kind of idea, if you will, as the um, Ice Rider Calyrex. Where it's like you have the Ice Rider Calyrex with like Peony hanging on for dear life. And then the Blaziken V makes his life kind of the same. But I think I'm gonna place this a bit higher. I'm actually gonna place this at A. Might even be A. No, I don't think it's S worthy. I think, I think A is fair. I think A for the for the VMAX is fair. And this is just super, super nice, even though it is similar to, to the Ice Rider Calyrex. It also plays a huge part of the Pokemon. You know, Blaziken is really cool, and I don't like Calyrex that much. But this is really cool, you know, if you have May hanging on for dear life, as I've said. And then you have the Blaziken V, sort of like looking like it's doing a break dance, in a way. I mean, the illustration itself is pretty cool. Once again, it's a really dynamic scene, similar to the Crobat. And if I'm comparing the two, I think B is fair for this one. B is fair for, for that one. It's like kind of doing a breakdance, or maybe, you know what it is? I think it's doing the Blaze Kick. That, that might be what it is, the dynamic thing. You know, dynamic battle scene, which I really like, but... In itself, I think B is fair, similar to the Crobat. Okay, Umbreon V and Umbreon V Max. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, and I know most people will not like this opinion, but I I'm not a fan of these illustrations. I'm sorry to say this. Like this is this is where I'm at with the Umbreon. It's like B and C. Like the B is is actually kind of nice. You have got of course Karen sitting in the background, you know, um, Elite Four member of from Generation Two. I'm pretty sure it's Generation Two. I will correct myself on editing if that's not true, but I'm 99% sure. I mean, part of the reason why I, I rank the VMAX that low is... I, I don't know how to say this, it's just... The illustration doesn't really do it for me. Now, the V is um, is better. The Umbreon V is better than the VMAX. And I do quite like that illustration. It looks like they're sitting at a bus stop or something. You know, Karen just resting. And then Umbreon looking around, or maybe just looking back at Karen, saying, I'm ready to go whenever. I think both of these are fine where they are. Now, for the Cricket Tune, I think that's an easy D tier for me. I mean, I like the nature shot. You have the... I do believe that's a bug catcher in the picture as well. If that's a character, then I'm sorry. But I do believe that's just a bug catcher. You have Cricket Tune kind of like, I don't know, helping with like, with like the work in the field, you know, I don't know. It is nice, but I am not a huge fan of that illustration. I'm sorry, that's that's like the same reason for like the Corviknight and um, V and VMAX. Orbeetle, let's see, Orbeetle V and Orbeetle VMAX. I think Orbeetle VMAX is a bit more easy for me to place. I'm gonna place this at D, and I'm gonna place the Orbeetle at C. Or is it B? Um, this is kind of difficult. We're getting to the cards where I'm having a lot of trouble placing them. I'm gonna place this at C for now. Yeah, so the Orbital VMAX. 
I don't know, it's like in the illustration it kind of looks like a, um, a UFO. Which kind of looks like it's sucking in everything. You know, you have also Bugsy. Uh, flying into it, you have a Pokeball, you have so much going on in the illustration, which is really cute. Really cute. I do believe I actually, I actually also see a mill tank in there somewhere, which which are things that I do do like. If you see other Pokemon in the illustration of like a card, that's really really nice to me. But I'm sorry, it's like for me, that's that that card is not for me. That illustration. Now the the V on the other hand, that is better, and I actually consider placing it at B. Mainly because it looks like Bugsy and the Orbeetle are like out trying to catch new bug Pokemon, like exploring the forest or something. And the shot itself is really well illustrated and this could even be a B. You know what? I'ma place this at B. This is this is a this is a pretty cool shot. I'ma place that at B. And be done with it, I suppose. Moving on to the other cards. We only have a few left, but these ones are like the most difficult to place for me. The Zero Aura, I think, is a C for me as well. I mean, I do like the Zero Aura. And of course, you have Celine in the background, you know, the main character from um, Sun and Moon. Like the alternate art for Zero Aura from, I do believe, Chilling Rain. That one looks stunning, and I love this. Like, I've said it, I think, before. Like, that's like one of my favorite alternate arts. But this one, I don't know. It's it's a dynamic pose, similar to the um, to like the Blaziken and the Crobat. It's like in the middle of fighting. But to me, the illustration isn't as good as these two. So I think C is fair for this one. Let's place the Eternatus V next. I've held off on placing the Eternatus V. Many because this one was so easy to place. But this one is a bit harder. I think this is a C tier for me as well. Like. It is cool, but it just doesn't live up to the to the monster illustration that is the VMAX. And I think that's part of the reason why I'm ranking this um, so much lower than the VMAX. It's just not on the same level. Uh, Bolt Hunt and both Center Scorchers. Let's place the Bolt Hunt. I think that's a C tier for me as well. It's just... Like this illustration... I don't know. You've got Sonya rushing off. Looks like maybe she she forgot something or she's in a hurry. Yeah, no. I think I think C is fair for that card. I do believe C is um is fair. I've actually pulled this card in Silver Tempest, and I was really happy of pulling it. That's it, that it is a cool card, you know, with the whole background and the city going on. It's mainly just the city skyline, but the city skyline is so well done that maybe I should place it higher, you know. If I say that this is boring because of the city skyline, but this is better, then maybe I should place this at B. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. You know, the city skyline. If you just look at the illustration, which I'm gonna gonna add, I'm gonna add all these cards in in editing, so you can see them in like full screen, just looking at them, and like the illustration. Just look at the background, like how detailed it is in the in the Duraladon. So many skyscrapers, so many lights going on. It's like, it's, it's amazing. Okay, we've only got a few cards left. Let's do the Sylveon. And I think I'm gonna do it the other way around, as I did for the, for the Umbreon. I'm gonna place the VMAX at B, and the normal V at C. Because I do believe for this illustration, like, the VMAX looks, looks so much better. It's like, super well done. While the, um, the normal V, on the other hand, is is still cool, but also then kind of boring, if you will. But this one is this one is pretty cool. This might actually be also an A tier, if I think about it. Let's do it like this. Kind of backwards. Still, uh, the the thing still exists, like backwards to the Umbreon, where the v where for the Umbreon the V is better than the V Max. Here it's the other way around. And just looking at the card, the V Max, yeah. That's, that's a really, really nice illustration. I like this. I, I like where this is placed. Definitely not S tier, but A, I think, is is really fair. Thinking about I think I'm going to pull the um, the Blaziken VMAX down. Just thinking about it, like, is this on the same level as these illustrations, in my opinion? No. And I think this is, uh, this is fair for the B tier. We've got the Blissey with Nurse Joy, you know, carrying towels, helping out in the Pokemon Center. 
which in itself is really nice, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to place this at C. Like, I feel so bad placing cards that low, even though all of the illustrations are super well done and are absolutely deserving of S tier, but for me personally, it just doesn't click. I mean, the illustration is nice. As I've said, it's Blissey helping out Nurse Joy carrying towels, and that in itself is really nice, but other than that, there's not much going on in the illustration, is there? Like, and that's, I think, the main reason why, um, why this is ranked so low for me. Okay, Santa Scorch, Santa Scorch VMAX. Of course, featuring Kabu in the background. We've once again, for the V, kind of like a fighting stance. You no know, getting ready for battle or maybe being already in a battle. But those are not at the same level of, of um, these two like or these these um these three here I, I i don't know i think this and this looks about looks about what i would be happy with now the center scorch v as i've said you know battle stance it looks cool and all but i think that's fair it's like on the same level as um sd zero aura with the lead and then the v max for me is just i do like the fact that like that um, Kabu is using the center scorch kind of as like a a treadmill, if you will, you know, training and all that. But other than that, there isn't much going on in the restoration, is there? It's just like Kabu running on, on the back of the center scorch. The sky looks nice, but then that's about it, eh? That's, uh, that's about it. So that's a D tier for me, I'm sorry. Okay, so we have two cards left to rank. Which is, of course, the Shadow Rider Calyrex, V and V Max. I think the V Max is like it's difficult for me. I'm put this. I'm gonna put this here for now for C. I'm gonna put the Shadow Rider V at um, at B. I'm, I'm mainly I'm placing this there because this is where the the Ice Rider Calyrex is, and these are like following the same kind of theme, if you will. Um. The, the difference between this, the character in this picture is, or in this illustration, is not holding on for dear life. It looks like it, he's flying. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's crazy, but still, they follow like the same trend, you know, following the Calyrex. And then the V, like the Shadow Rider Calyrex V, that one looks pretty cool. You have like these crystals. Kind of like exploring a crystal cave, which looks really, really nice. The illustration is super well done, illustrated of course by um, Oswaldo Cato. Although, this might be... This might be where this ends up going, because I do really like the... the crystal background. Just going over the list right now, to see if I want to move something. Maybe I want to move something up to S, maybe I want to move something down. But I, I don't think I want to, to be honest. I think this is, this is, this is the final list. This is it. This is, this is the ranking for um, V Max Climax. All character super rares. But anyways, that was the ranking of V Max Climax. As I said, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to open V Max Climax this week on Wednesday. You know, in preparation for V Star Universe, which will hopefully be opening um, next week. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.